Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Octoman from octomangames.com and in this course you're going to learn how to create nonogram or pcross or gridler games in Unity Game Engine. So we are going to take a look into how to interact with buttons, how to do these hover over effects if necessary, how to level select in different level sizes. We are going to learn about scriptable objects which are holding all of this content over here. Also, we're gonna give the possibility to fill this extra data over here to load a corresponding level. For example, maybe this one over here, and then the actual level will be loaded. We learn how to zoom in and zoom out this little play field, how to create all of these graphical elements, how to right click and pan the complete play field because it might be bigger later on. So we need to have a lot of space maybe on the play field over here. We are going to learn what a P-cross or nonogram puzzle is going to be, how to change buttons by clicking on them, crossing them or filling them out, how to check if a game or if a puzzle has been solved or not. Also, of course, what are the fundamentals of a nonogram puzzle and how to interact with these. One of the biggest thing in the course are going to be our own level generator, which we are going to create from scratch meaning we are going to design a puzzle based on certain settings. For example, now I have loaded a 10 by 10 grid in which I can mark certain areas over here to, for example, create any kind of an animal if I like to or anything like that. And as you can tell, the clues for the nonogram puzzle are going to fulfill themselves on autopilot. And this is the most important part of this course because what we learn over here is not only creating the puzzles by clicking on them to create some kind of a pixel art and the players later on need to solve the puzzle by trying to understand what the puzzle might be about, but also we implemented some kind of, or we will implement a kind of a level system in which we can give out a name and save the puzzle once we are happy with the actual result. So for example, if we're gonna have some kind of an animal, which, or maybe a butterfly or anything you can come across, you can just give it a name and save the puzzle correctly. This is one of the biggest parts of this course because this is what is driving the whole game in general. We are saving this data as a JSON data format so we can later read back the information inside the actual game. So where are we gonna just show the clues but not the solution, even if we would have the solution on hand. And so we're gonna go from there, from this point on, and then we're gonna give the player the possibility to solve these puzzles on their own speed. So if you are interested into solving not just puzzles, but also learning how to actually create such a game like this nonogram puzzles in general or if you maybe want to go and learn other things like for example button interactions or saving and loading data into json file formats or even furthermore go and extend your knowledge in general inside the unity game engine just by learning with me together feel free to join me on this course. So I hope I gonna see you in the course. I hope I serve you well in this one. So let's get into it and start learning today.